It's now the off season. It's the off season. You are preparing right now for next year. Where do you want to play next year? How good do you want to be? When your opportunity comes next year, it's too late to get ready. It's too late to prepare for it. You prepare right now. All right, here's four things that you can do to make yourself a player over the next six, seven months. First thing you need to do is get a notebook. We already gave you one at camp. You need to get a notebook. That notebook, when you fill it up, when it's got a hundred drills in it and all the workouts you're doing, that's gold, it's knowledge, it's power, if you use it. Use that notebook to write out your drills, write out your workouts. Make it a habit. Great players, successful people have great habits. Get in a habit of writing out your workouts before you go to bed at night, what you're gonna do the next day. Make that a habit. Be detailed. Write down exactly what you're gonna do. All right, if you're gonna do, all right, if you're gonna do 50 pound pound cross, 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 if you're gonna do 50 of those, write that down, 50 pound pound cross. 50, pound, pound through, pound, pound through. All right, whatever you're gonna do, be detailed. If you're gonna work on finishing, write out what you're gonna do. I'm gonna make five in a row veers, five in a row inside shoulder, five in a row stride, stop, step through. Be detailed. When you write it out, it's like making a contract with yourself. When you take to the gym, you open it up, boom, it's there, get to work. So I talked about yesterday, getting more out of your hours. All right, second thing, you need to get a workout partner. Find somebody to work out with, to push you. There's gonna be days that you don't wanna to go to the gym. There's gonna be days when you think you're tired. When your friends are going to the pool, when it's 90 degrees outside, and you're going to the park to work on your game because you want to be great someday. You need to find somebody that you can play one-on-one -on -one against, do shooting drills with, somebody that's going to push you, somebody that wants to be just as good, if not better than you. Third thing, you got to listen, work out to music. Listen to music when you work out. Your workouts will have more energy. Be more upbeat. Be more intense when you use music. The last thing, you gotta have a vision. Why are you working out? What is your vision? What do you want? What are you working out for? When your arms start to hurt, or maybe you don't want to go do your 300 shots today. We're doing two ball drills so hard that your arms start to burn and you can't feel them anymore. What's going to keep you going? We talked about yesterday. Great players know how to what? Play through fatigue. Great players learn how to play through fatigue. They fight through it. What's going to get you to fight through fatigue when you're working out? If I'm you, what I'm thinking about is this. I think of my high school. I think of the high school gym. Detail. You're playing for a conference championship. You walk out for warm-ups. There's thousands of people there, school packed, bleachers packed, band playing, people wearing your school colors, their faces painted. Okay, and it, the score is tied. 
With eight seconds left, coach puts the ball in your hand. You got it. You take it to the rack, get an and one, and the crowd goes crazy. It's so loud you can't hear yourself. It might not be fun you know, to get up in the morning before school and work on your ball handling or do it when it's 90 degrees outside. It might not be fun to do that, but it's fun when you take the ball, get to the rack, put your team up by two points with three seconds to go in your conference championship and the crowd goes crazy. So loud you can't hear yourself. That's fun.